everyone! Hey, it's Heidi Scott. Guess what? Oh my gosh, I have three really awesome Valentine's Day craft projects to show you today that are almost too easy. You're not going to even believe it. Also, I have some news, some exciting news about a new um, product that you can use that I'll tell you about at the end. So if I forget, somebody please remind me. Okay, so um, the Valentine's Day projects that I want to show you today are mostly for your table, all right? The first one I want to tell you about is how to make craft paper placemats. You guys, these are so simple, and um, especially if you have little kids, they can draw on them. You can give them some crayons while you're at the dinner table, and then you can throw them away when dinner's over, when it's not Valentine's Day anymore. So this one is the first one that I made, and I just used one of those little lace doily, which I forgot to get. Hang on, I'll grab it. They look like these. Oh, hey, and I completely forgot to say that I would love to know when you hop on. Give me a hi, give me a smiley face, some heart. Tell me um, where you're watching from. And um, if you like the projects that I'm doing, um, give me some little smiles or hearts to let me know. And I'll continue doing those kind of projects. Okay, so this is what I used. I just laid this on my little um, craft paper placemat. And then I used some of this awesome stuff, which is from a maker studio. It's called Gel Art Ink, and this is white. And it's called Well I Declare. And you guys, this was so simple. Okay, so it just started with a roll of brown craft paper. And then I took some of the placemats that I already had. Hey guys! And I laid them on top to get an idea of what size I wanted. And then I just cut them out. Um, and let me give you a tip though. With this kind of craft paper, it wants to kind of roll back up again as soon as you um, cut it free from the roll. And so I just took mine um, upstairs to my iron and I put my iron on like a medium setting and I just went over back and forth both sides and it flattened out and it was just fine. Okay, so when I was doing this one, I literally just held the little heart doily thing that came from the Dollar Tree down and I pushed the gel ink around the holes and that's what you get. And I like to do it on this side, which is where um, your right side is going to be, because that's where most people put the majority of their silver or their um, silverware, unless you're having a fancy dinner party and, you know. So anyways, I like to do it on this side, okay? So that was one that I made. This is another one that I made where I put it at the top and the bottom. And this is a really cute little stencil, also from a maker studio. It looks like this and um, you can do a ton of different things with this it's not just Valentine's Day either so I literally just um, put my stencil where I wanted it using the same white gel ink I um, stenciled it on the placemat and I'm good to go and you guys um, I used these these are gonna be used twice so the first time they were for Thanksgiving I'm all about rescuing and reusing and repurposing. So um, this one says family blessings and it's in a dark brown gel ink. And this one here says pumpkin spice and everything nice. So if your family's not terribly messy, you can use these more than once and you can just flip them over and do something on the other side to take them to the next holiday. Okay. So that is my first tip. And let me also mention that um, you could make a darling table runner also with some stencils, some ink, and some craft paper. And you guys, these things cost you hardly anything. Oh, by the way, I am going to be giving away this. I'll mail it to one person today um, that sprinkles this video onto your just regular um, 
social media, your Facebook page, or if you're in a group, a crafting group, if you sprinkle it there. Anyways, this is one of those cute little banners that I've been making with some vintage sheet music and twine. It's all ready to go. And whoever sprinkles and says sprinkle in the comments, I will pick one person tomorrow morning and I will um, mail this to you. And you can just put it on your fireplace, you know, drape it over a, a picture, a mirror, whatever you like. So, did want to mention that. Okay, so the second project I want to show you uh, is this. And these are little wrapped hearts. Oh, Deborah, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Um, so if you're going to sprinkle, just put that in the comments so that I know. And then I will pick one person randomly tomorrow morning and I'll uh, mail you this cute little banner. Okay, so these are just little wrapped hearts. And what I did is I just took some card a cardboard box. Can you guys see this? And I drew a heart, all right? And then I cut it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And it can be whatever size you like. And then I just took some yarn. Uh, both of these yarns here were from Walmart. This one I really like because it has little flecks of different colors in it. Can you guys see that? Um, anyways, I'm going to show you with this gray. All you're going to do basically is just put the um, yarn over your heart and then you're going to start twisting. And this is a good project to do while you're watching TV or, you know, while you're just wanting to kill some time. You can see what, what you do and you just go over and over and over and over and over. And then you can either use some hot glue. Um, oh, hey, Debbie, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate that. You can either use some hot glue to um, finish it off, or you can just tuck the end of it under one of the other strands. So on this one, I did a fatter yarn, and the shape of the heart is less pronounced, okay? So if I was going to do it again, I would stick with the thinner yarn because you can tell more that it's a heart, all right? And these look great just plopped in a little vignette, all right? See, look how cute that is. Let me see if I can hold it all together. Well, I'll take pictures and put them in the comments. This was the project that we made in our quick and easy um, craft uh, thing that I did yesterday. So if you missed this, this was this is literally one of my favorite projects that I've done. Um, and if you didn't see it, you definitely want to just scroll back in my videos and watch it. And this is actually a cookie sheet from Dollar Tree. So anyway, so you can just put these little um, wrapped hearts on um, a tray. I mean, they look pretty just sitting anywhere. Okay. Um, so then the next thing I want to show you that's a good, fun thing to do for Valentine's Day is to make a centerpiece. And um, hey, Jane. Hey, Marsha. Oh, she put some lace and bling to her hearts. That's awesome. I love that idea. I would love to see a picture if you have one and want to put that in this conversation thread. Um, okay, so I got this idea from one of my followers who sent me a picture and I love it when you guys do that because it gives me so many more ideas. And like I'm always telling you guys to take my ideas and make them your own in your own style, you know, in the colors that appeal to you. That's exactly what I did is I saw her picture, which was darling. And then I just went to the Dollar Tree and I picked out this plate that I really liked. It has this beading on it and I picked out a cereal bowl that I really liked that had this beading on it. I came home, I got out Mr. E6000 glue, which is great. This stuff is amazing. And I just put a, um, a rim of it on the bottom of the cereal bowl, set my plate like this, you know, put my cereal bowl on the top of it where I was gonna want it. 
and then I let it dry for 24 hours. And now for $2 from my Dollar Tree, I have this darling little pedestal that I can put in the center of my kitchen table. And I know you can buy great pedestals, um, you know, in your, whatever your favorite home decor shop is or Target, but you can't buy them usually for $2. So this is um, just, I love it. And um, I wanted to tell you, um, let's see. I wanted to tell you something new and exciting. And that is um, the company that I'm an affiliate for, a maker studio, they just announced finally today that there's a new ceramic paint that they're carrying. And you guys, you can use it with, with stencils and, you, and it comes in a little tube and you can also blend the colors to make custom colors. So why am I telling you about that? Um, well, first of all, I did put a little affiliate link in the blurb that describes this if you wanna go take a peek at all the yummy colors that they have. Um, but why is it relevant to what I'm showing you today is, the, is because there's so many things that you could do with these pedestals and some ceramic ink. Or, or yeah, ceramic ink is what it's called. Um, like I saw the most darling picture of this plate from the Dollar Tree that they used this stencil on for Valentine's Day with the new pink ceramic ink. I'll put a picture of that in the comments because it's darling. So you could make all kinds of things um, specific to the holidays or whatever you like using um, dishes and bowls and mugs from your whatever dollar store you like. So that's why I wanted to tell you about that. Anyways, coming soon, uh, probably tomorrow, I'm going to show you how you can take some of that wider burlap ribbon and pull all the strings out of the center of it and make these um, cute little burlap flowers. That's one thing I'm going to be showing you. And then I'm also going to show you more about this project, which is something that I made that's like a 3D kind of a, a sign. Super easy. So, if you didn't catch me at the beginning of this live, if you will sprinkle this video to your plain old regular Facebook page or whatever social media you like and put sprinkles in the comments. I'm going to pick one person tomorrow and I will mail them this darling little vintage sheet music banner. It's all put together. I'm going to just pop it in an envelope and mail it to whoever, to the one person that, um, that I randomly pick from everyone who sprinkled. Let's see, what else did I want to tell you? So if you want to make sure, this was day five of the Valentine's Day um, craft projects that I'm doing. If you want to make sure that you see day six and day seven, then double check to make sure that you've liked or followed this page so you don't miss out. And if you like the projects that I did today, this, these super duper easy ones, give me some little hearts. That would be great. Oh, Kathy shared or sprinkled, sorry. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching. I will uh, definitely be live to see you tomorrow. And um, I have a project that I'm working on later this afternoon that I will probably take pictures of and put in this feed as well. So check back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.